Hill's work ramping up to prevent flooding on a section of the Big Sur River. Huge log jam has changed the course of the river, and it's raising a lot of concerns because it could cause erosion and other problems, especially as we head into another rainy season. More on what's being done about it from Action News Aid reporter Felix Cortez in Big Sur. The heavy equipment has arrived, and so has the manpower, both needed to remove a huge log jam on the Big Sur River that has changed the course of the river, pushing it closer to Highway 1 near the St. Francis Retreat. If the highway was undermined here, we'd have a loss of utility service to the entire coast of Big Sur south of this location, and we'd also have a loss of highway access, and there is no alternative area to run the highway through here. So preventing that from happening is critical. Critical enough that work now being done seven days a week to remove the log jam before the winter rains come. With Big Sur already cut off from the south end at Paul's Slide, the last thing the community needs is a road washout on the north end. We'd be an island again. We, uh, we don't need to go back there. And, uh, and also there's a lot of unintended consequences of one of these uh, log jams busting loose. You just don't know where it's going to reform or cause additional fl uh, impacts on the, on the river. There's also concern upstream. It was pretty scary just because it got so high so quickly with that log jam. Fernwood Resort is on the banks of the Big Sur River. And we know the El Nino is coming and don't know if it's going to be good or bad. So getting that done in advance before we have another almost flooding situation, it does I think it gives me some relief. Large logs have already been cut into smaller pieces and the work being done with a hypersensitivity towards protecting the river and the steelhead trout. This is video of steelhead that were removed from a section of the river where a temporary bridge is going in so heavy equipment doesn't enter the water. Now, weather permitting the $800,000 project to remove this huge log jam should be completed by November 16th.